Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Story Time with Bob, the part of the show where Bob recounts some of his harrowing adventures that happened off screen. Our story begins in Orion's office, where our hero discovered a series of journals and notes that pointed him in the direction of several artifacts that he will need to get his hands on as soon as possible. After he was done rooting through his boss's office, our hero traveled to Winterhold so he could learn some new restoration spells. Once our hero was finished studying magic like a nerd, he decided he wanted to power level his smithing skill. So he traveled to Kolskegger Mine, a cave overflowing with gold ore. Upon arriving, he found some disgusting Forsworn, and with the help of a conjured Dramora pit fighter, our hero was able to cleanse these caves of the disgusting hill people. There was a rumored incident involving the Dramora pit fighter getting killed once the job was finished and he had demanded his share of the gold, but unfortunately, no one saw it. Between smelting gold, crafting jewelry, constantly casting Muffle while walking around, and conjuring a Dramora pit fighter to do all of his dirty work for him, our hero was able to effectively power level his smithing, illusion, and conjuration skills. Whilst pattering about the museum, our hero also discovered that he could have been using these archaeological fragments he's been discovering to make some new displays in the museum's dining hall. And thanks to his efforts filling up the displays throughout the museum, Orion gifted Bob with a powerful new weapon called Stendar's Hammer, a warhammer that literally weighs a thousand pounds and allegedly sends enemies flying. Can't wait to test this baby out. Seriously, this thing is so heavy that I can't I can't run with it. I really do want to test it out though, because yeah, allegedly it, it sends enemies <laughs> flying. It it's probably the same effect as like uh, the Fusro Dash out, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if I would ever want to raise my stamina or carry weight up to the point that I could carry this thing around. Oh, I need, let me put my armor and stuff back on. I took it all off, you know, for the bit, as you do. Ah, uh, well, maybe if I got three... Well, gosh, no, it would take, like... Like, what, five or six more of these leather box pouches to... <laughs> to get 300 more carry weight, which is what I would need uh, to just carry this hammer around. The, the thing is, I wouldn't even be able to carry anything else in my inventory. <laughs> I would just have to I'd just be able to use this. It looks pretty cool, though. But uh, until I... Until I find an occasion to use it, or until I remember to use it um, while I'm, I don't know, standing in one place getting surrounded by enemies, I'm going to keep that uh, hammer in, in deep storage. <laughs> because it is... It is not practical to carry that thing around. So, anywho, I think what we are going to do. Oh, you guys, doing a magic trick? Yes, my friend. You lead, I follow. Follow me, guys. How can I help you? Right, you are. You can practice your magic tricks Let's get later. Back to it. What we are going to do at the moment is run and find some of those artifacts that I learned about from Orion's journals. So. The first one we're going to go after is the Fists of Randa Gulf. And we're going to try and find these because they are actually just in the Blue Palace. Apparently, Orion has asked about them before and the and the, uh, the Blue Palace said no. So we are going to go try our hands at, as the quest says, uh, liberating the gauntlets in the name of posterity. That's really cute, quest journal. I, I like it when uh, <laughs> I like it when you try to to sugarcoat that we would just be stealing these gauntlets. So let's see. It is quite dreary. If only I had enough magicka to use a nifty little spell called Control Weather, and I could clear all this up. Good job, Bob, with your poor planning. 
I'll have to remember to increase my Magicka enough to use Control Weather. Because it, it is a riot. Alright, so... Wait. Okay. Okay, so I, I'm guessing these quest markers are both for... Okay, for this quest. Got it. So maybe I'm about to talk to... Maybe I'm about to talk to Falk. Falk Firebeard. Oh, I just did a favor for him. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Hello, Falk. I wanted to discuss the Fists of Randa Golf, bearing in mind that I literally just, like, yesterday uh, destroyed the Witch... Not the Witch Queen. What's her name? <laughs> the Wolf Queen. And saved Solitude and possibly the whole world. So anyway, let's talk about these Fists. The Gauntlets. Yes, they are a family heirloom to the late Jarl Thoring. What of them? I'd like to have them on display at the Solitude Museum. Oh, you're with that elf. Listen, I already told him before that the Jarl is too busy with other concerns to entertain discussions about that. And besides, they are a family relic to her late husband, and have been in his family for many generations. I doubt she'll part with them. Oh, come on, Falk. We think a relic like that should be placed for all to see. Nah, I don't think so. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can I bribe you? It's good to see you again. Let's, um... The gauntlets. Oh, and besides, they are a family relic to her late husband. Yes, I know. You told me this already. Can I make it worth your while? Well, I don't know. Just... Consider it a contribution to the well-being of the people of Solitude. Well, the people have suffered greatly, and a generous contribution like this will go a long way. Just make no mistake. I am not taking any personal gain from bribes. I am treating this, like you say, as a contribution and nothing more. I'll deal with the young, and I think in the end she'll understand and agree that it's better this way. Yay. Thanks, bribes. There you go, kids. If you give somebody enough money, they will give you whatever you want. That's the lesson here. As long as you label it as a charitable contribution, <laughs> you can bribe anybody you want. <laughs> oh. Obviously, I'm kidding. That's not... Not a... Uh, that's not a, a very moral thing to... To, or moral attitude to have, or ethic, very ethical attitude to have. You know, when I'm venturing into territory I'm not well versed in, I always get morals and ethics confused. As much as I love a good storm, I usually prefer to appreciate them from indoors. You know what, Lucian? As much as I appreciate whining, I usually like to hear it. Never. Good one, Bob. All right, so I think. I think I want to go find Cyrus's saber. Uh. Yeah, it's on a ship known as the Brine Hammer. I think I know where it is. Let me do a quick Google search, though. Okay, I got a location on the Brine Hammer. Thanks, Google. Fortunately, it's actually, I think it's just like right up here. Ish. So, we will actually fast travel to... Ustengrav. Yeah, I think that works. And make our way over to the Brine Hammer. I thought I remembered where it was off the top of my head, but there are, honestly, there are a ton of shipwrecks <laughs> along the coast of, of Skyrim, and uh, I probably would have ended up going to the wrong one, so. We, we, I wanted to make sure I didn't waste a lot of time looking for, or traveling toward the wrong, uh, the wrong shipwreck. It's kind of a sad commentary, I think, on the quality of Skyrim's coasts <laughs> that there are like four or five shipwrecks. I don't know. You'd think somebody could go clean that up. Anyway. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Ooh. A, cho a chorus. A chorus. No. What is it called? I kind of want to snipe that guy. Where'd he go? Where is he? Where are you? Show your face, coward. Also, is something going on with the... Yeah, something's going on with the lighting there. Oops, there you are. 
That's right. You're nothing. Ha ha. Fragments. Eggs. Nice. Oh, that's what it. Okay. The lighting was getting all weird with the uh, the ice on top of the water. So, don't don't look that way. <laughs> Ignore the ice. Ignore the the lighting and graphical anomalies. Those aren't real. I have discovered Highgate ruins. Excellent. Let me check these bodies. Nothing on them that I want. Oh, I see a ship. Come on, Lucian. Come on, Inigo. Uh-oh. Got some disgusting spiders. Aha! Now, who did they just kill? I saw them chasing a person. Ah, oh, great. I see a dragon. Are you gonna come mess with me? Hopefully not. Now, who are you? Oh, uh, aw, poor hunter. Actually, I feel bad. These guys are, uh... These guys are usually pretty cool. Or at least they're, they're never hostile. How sad. It's never a good day when... An innocent hunter leaves us too soon. Oh, see a mud crab. Ah... Problem solved. Boom! That's right, Lucian. Oh, gosh! <laughs> Down and <out. laughs> that... That scared me. These guys... have a knack for just popping up out of nowhere. Spiky grass. Okay, so... We need to go find... Uh, what are we looking for? Cyrus's saber! We need Cyrus's saber. This is gonna be miserable. If the whole ship is always tilted like this. Ugh. That's not a... That's not a fun way to die. Although I guess... One could argue that there is no fun way to die. I guess someone thought this was a harbor. <laughs> I guess so, Inigo. And how dumb must that person have been? Sorry, I'm not being very respectful toward the dead. All right, boys. Keep your wits about you. you know Let's switch to lightning. Because it looks cool. Oh! Ow! Jerk! Ha-ha! See? Look at how cool that was. Just sent him flying with the power of lightning. Like Emperor Palpatine. Oh. Whoops. I'm sorry, sir. Do you mind? Let's see. Oh. Oh, wait. Should I take that? I think I should. When I was doing all that off-screen grinding, I also took a look in the library. And... I saw, uh, gosh, you know, all those bookshelves down in the library that have um, all these spaces for, like, series of books. And I can't, re I can never remember which, ooh, some ore, nice. I will take that. Nice find. Um, I can never remember which, uh... I can never remember which which book series I need to be collecting books for. So, uh... Oh! Is there another one around here? Oh. Boom! Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I can never remember which book series I should be, uh... Collecting, so... You guys might might see me uh darkest darkness bigger what is oh it's trying to kinnereth i was trying to figure out what that was i thought i could I thought i recognized it as uh something oh yeah shoot wait oh cyrus the saber found it haha <laughs> i did it also that was kind of a fortunate 
It was kind of fortunate that I walked back and saw, because I, I could have very easily just walked past that. Never found it. Anyway, uh, you guys might see me start to take more books in my travels. I don't remember if I have already mentioned that, but I feel like I, uh, I could really put a big dent in the uh, display count at the museum if I... Hey. In you go. Move. Lucian, move. Okay. If I start taking more... Oh, hey. Novice door. If I start taking more books... Um, oh. just realized I could turn on my lantern. That would help a lot. Yeah, if I start taking more books, I can um, include them in the library. And that'll put a pretty big, pretty good dent into the, uh, the display count at the museum. So... That was a really long, rambling, roundabout way for me to say that I'm probably going to start taking more books. Also, let's see what is behind door number two. Or whatever door number this is. Yes, I knew you could do it. Thanks, Inigo. You're so encouraging, buddy. Anything down here? Oh, wait. Down here. Wait, is this... Where are we? Oh. Hello, friend. A new contender. Ha, that one fell funny. Oh, there we go. There's the, the clearing noise. I guess all I needed to do is kill that one last mud crab. Okay, skeleton. And there we... Oh, wait. So I think I can just hop outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm back outside. Yay, we did it. Okay, cool. So, we got the Fists of Randa Golf. We got the uh, Saber of Cyrus. Now, let's head over to Labyrinthian and try to find Shalador's Stone. And, uh, so I'll turn off my lantern. Okay. Fortunately, I have been to Labyrinthian before. So... No Googling or guesswork is required for this one. All right, boys. Just follow me. I kind of know my way around. Do I? Wait, what is... Uh... Hang on. There actually... There are a lot of... Oh, wait, no, that... I can't tell which of these locations are where. Hey, Frost Troll. Boom! Oh. Um, oh. Guys b behind us. He's going to stand there and let this frost troll. Boom! Yeah, are you guys just going to stand there and let the troll kill us? Or... Are we going to fight him like men? <clears throat> you know what? These guys do yield a lot of troll fat, so... Yeah, I'm going to take all that sh stuff. Alright. Um, yeah, what I was trying to say earlier is I, ca I can't tell uh, those locations at the top of the map, like, or on my mini-map. I can't tell. I guess this Nordic burial chamber symbol is, uh, I guess that's the closest one. Oh, that, yeah, that's alright. This is part of Labyrinthian. What is this? Lost Valkig. Hmm. Well, I can't tell where where else we're supposed to be going. So actually, let's let's hop in here real quick. See what's going on in Lost Valkig. Valkig. Hello, Lost Valkig. What secrets do you have in store for me? Nope, nothing. Is that a like a dinner table? Oh yeah, look at that. A dinner table with Draugr on it. How charming. Hey guys, don't step on the... Okay. Um, I feel like I shouldn't have to say this twice, but yeah, don't, don't stand on the, the pressure plates. Just... Good rule of thumb. Oh, Draugr Death Lords! Hey, guys! 
Ha ha! <laughs> you guys. You silly Draugr. Vardenfell glass helmet. I will take Maybe that. We should ready our weapons, just in case. I've got my weapons. Black Sting. Ooh. That looks strange, but I will take it. I don't think it's rare. But I kind of like the design of it. Move! <sighs> my toe! Lucian! That's what you get for standing in a doorway that I'm trying to walk through! Very learn. Okay, sorry. I, you know what? I always say that I'm going to spend less time looting everything, and then I very quickly forget that promise. So, I promise I'm going to stop forgetting that promise. Woo! Wait, what did that say? Phoenix what? Phoenix Ninjato. Yep, taking that too. I'm just going to take all the... Uh, Good job, guys. I'm going to start taking all the uh, cool or unique looking weapon designs that I find. Anything here? No? Oh, hey. An alchemy table. Okay. Uh, so free. Oh, crap. So many directions. Where do I go? Let's go this way first because this door is open. Hmm. Imperial Night Greaves. Uh, you know what? Sure. I like that weapon design. Hmm. Oh. Sucks to be that guy. Avar Stonesinger. Nice. Yeah. I'll... I'll take a, a book that increases a skill I literally have not worked on at all. Okay. Not a bad idea coming into this place. Oh, that's right. I meant to continue the trend I started with my uh, my trip into Kolskegger Mine. I'm going to start uh, summoning a Dramora Pit Fighter to fight alongside Lucian and Inigo. And I'm just going to kind of hang back and kind of watch the fighting. I, I've realized I'm quite weary from... Really? There's nothing in here? kind of carrying the load. I, uh... I kind of feel like, uh, you know... Ah! You know, who's who's your... They did not know who they were messing with. Yeah, you guys in the audience, think of, like, your favorite sports team, and think of a time when the best player on said team was pretty much having to carry the team. That's how I feel. Oh. Got a uh, bad guy, but I don't care because I have teammates. Are they up here? Oh, Draugr Death Lord. No, guys, go get him. No, don't hit Lucian. Lucian's on our team. Nice, guys. Get him. Get him. Nice. Nice, Nice guys. Ah, nice try, Dramora, Dramora Pit Fighter. Get him, Lucian. Yeah. Nice work, everyone. Great team effort. Good, good team effort all around. All right, drop zone. Woo. Oh my gosh, wait. So there's nothing in here about a IRL. IRL, who are you? A subject approaches. Ugh. No, you must not look at me. Not like this. Uh. <laughs> Your skin looks a bit dry. You should talk to an alchemist. You choose to use humor, but if I laugh, it is only because my sadness has exhausted all tears. I once had skin that glistened without the aid of oil, and seemed only to grow smoother and softer with age. I was once the envy of all, a queen, Queen Irel of Murrith. And my subjects averted their gaze out 
out of respect and not disgust. You're the Queen of Merith? What land is that? Do you mean to mock me, stranger? Surely you know the name of the land we stand on. Merith, hmm. settled by the descendants of the first men. Or has history erased all that I am as punishment for my deeds? The Merithic era passed long ago. How are you still alive? I am a Draugr. Drakon servants such as myself are despised for our loyalties, as we are thought to have betrayed man to aid the dragons. Neither tome nor song will sing my praises, if they sing for me at all. For the dead can suffer no greater wound, no harsher penalty than the hollows of empty silence. Hmm. It's funny, I've never met a Draugr who could talk. The Draugr exists on but a whisper of life, granted by the word of a Drakon priest, who themselves were granted eternity by the Dovra. It is normally blasphemous for anyone not of the priesthood to use this tongue. But as queen, it was my duty to serve and speak for the Dovra gods. The same is true for my existence. I am not a Draugr bound to the will of any priest. I have been granted life and speech by a Dovra, a dragon. Then the power of the dragons exists inside you. Yes, some would call it a blessing. How am I blessed? What sort of madman would call this anything but a curse? I can never again feel the warmth of another, or be able to reward that warmth with a smile. Not even the wind deigns to acknowledge my presence. It passes through my body like a cold shoulder. Hmm. At least you have your mind. You can be thankful for that. Many others are ash and dust. Their bodies are indeed ash and dust. But their spirits live on. How I long for the same. What if I were to slay you? Would you be able to rest? I... I do not know. Many a Draugr who are slain rise again, but only because they are granted life by the priests they serve. The Dovra who imbued me with life was slain many centuries ago, and with him gone, perhaps I too can find any rest. Will you grant me this kindness, stranger? My body may resist, but my mind, my voice, it will not shout. Uh... Yes, I, I can help you, but I actually wanted to ask you a few more questions. I understand. Feel free to ask as many as you like, but I hope we can revisit this topic later. I'm surprised I haven't heard of you. I thought there would be some record of your previous existence. All that remains of who I am, my beauty, my fears, my heart, lies in this caricature of a human being. And it seems I myself am a poor caretaker of that legacy. When I look back at everything I was, from my flesh to my name, it feels like I am staring at a portrait of someone else's memories. Well, you speak of names from an age long past, but today, this land is called Skyrim. If you believe this to be the rim of sky and heaven, then your people have not ventured further north. In my time, this land was to the south, a land 
whose winter was far warmer than the summers in Admora. There were many who fled south to escape the war, but I led my people here because the crops tended to flourish in lands baked in the sun. Those who migrated here named this land Murith, in honor of the Mur who called it home. So you settled in occupied land. Some might call that an invasion. Our people learned to cooperate with the Mur, just as we did with the Dovra, the dragons whom we worshipped and served. Slowly we began to establish cities. Some might dare to call it a kingdom. It encompassed a small stretch of land along the Broken Cape, but the palace sat at its center like a great Jewel. As I had led one of the original settlements, and had once trained to become a dragon priest, I was chosen as queen. Hmm. The Atmora worshipped dragons? The dragon priests respected the Dovra for their might and power. We paid tribute to them, and in return lived in harmony. In Merith, no such order had been established. Without a dragon priest to conduct the rituals, it was left to me to teach my people the old ways. You know, they say Ysgrimor established Sarthal. I've actually been there. Lovely place. On the ruins of a kingdom. Our kingdom. Ysgrimor came as a settler and stayed as a conqueror. He was a tyrant. Thus, my reign lasted no more than a season. All that effort, all the goodwill I had established, shattered by the blade of his inglorious axe. Why is that? The Needs came to Murrith to escape war, not find themselves entrenched in another. However, they are a prideful people. The massacre in Sarthal gave Ysgrimor the perfect excuse to eradicate the Mur from this land. He baited the Mur into an attack on farmers, hunters, and maids. All the while, he and his sons built an army of companions in the caverns to the north. Interesting. Well, history says the Mur were threatened by the Needs and sought to banish them. History rarely tells the whole truth. It was true that the Mur attacked Sarthal, but it was not for fear of our strength. They sought that which was promised to them, a great source of power, a shimmering ball of magicka encased in runes of an ancient tongue. The Mur thought it to be older than the world itself, the all-seeing eye of the great architect, the blind witness to all of creation, Magnus. The eye was the price of peace. Only when our kingdom was conquered by Ysgrimor, he deemed it too heavy a price to pay. Then came the Night of Tears and Ysgrimor's return, when all beginnings came to an end, and all ends came for a single beginning. Interesting. Well, wanted to get back to the conversation we were having earlier. Very well. About me killing you. Yes, have you considered what I said? Will you grant me the peace I desire? Yes, I will do it, and it will be my honor. Thank you. You are both kind and merciful. And while I may be queen, I am humbled by your grace. The old Medic tradition says there is no greater honor than to die in battle, and that is my final request. That you slay me as you would any nameless Draugr, and that you forget that I was anything else. I beg you, forget you ever spoke 
to this rattle of bones, this ugly carcass, this foul, stinking corpse. I ask that you forget who I was, so that someday, perhaps, in the great halls where all spirits are laid to rest, we can meet again, and you can know me for who I truly am. Goodbye, stranger, and thank you. May the wind forever be on your back, and kindness forever in your heart. It was nice to meet you too, I IRL. Ugh, I feel bad about this, but here you go. Now, do you have anything valuable on you? Ancient, ancient Nordic amulet. Yeah, you probably won't miss this. That was quite a sad story. But, you know, I'm glad I was able to help. To, uh, to some extent. I don't really feel like I helped, but... Hopefully her, uh, her soul finds peace. 